The chair recognizes Sacramento, California. Please come up to the stage. Good morning, everybody. How are you this morning? All right. So uh, one thing I want to start with is that, you know, a lot of you were here on Friday and got to see Mayor Johnson um, or got to hear and see him speak. And I think that one thing that I've noticed that is uniting us all here today is vision. None of this starts without great vision. And Ralph Smith and the Annie Casey Foundation and the team that he's put together there got together with, you know, the, the Gloria Rubio Cortez over here, and they have excellent vision. They all brought us here under that one common vision, so I want to thank them, first of all. In Sacramento, I'm lucky enough to work for someone that is also an amazing visionary. And Mayor Johnson has laid out an incredible vision for us to get all of our third graders reading on grade level by the end of third grade by 2020, and we're going to do it. Uh, but none of this ever happens unless you have a great team behind you. And so first and foremost, I want to ask my team who are in the room today to go ahead and stand. Let's give them a quick round of applause, please. They represent a really, really small part of our team. And today, what I want to express is that we carry the hearts and minds of everybody in Sacramento along with us. And, and our team extends well beyond just the few of us that you see in the room today. We have partners in, in every sector of the community, from local businesses like Old Soul, um, corporations like Wells Fargo, to local foundations like the Sierra Health Foundation, our school districts, um, churches and community volunteers have gotten involved. So at every level of Sacramento, people are jumping on this bandwagon to fight for early literacy. And I think that one way that we, we look at ourselves in Sacramento is as pioneers. You know, the gold rush is what puts Sacramento on the map in the, in the mid-1800s. And at one time, Sacramento was the most important city in, in California, if not in the entire Western United States. The Transcontinental Railroad ended there, and it was, it was a destination place. And we want to put Sacramento back on the map again. Right now, two-thirds of our kids in third grade are not reading on grade level. Two-thirds cannot read on grade level. In California, we educate one out of every eight children in this country. So for that to be the case in the, in the state's capital is absolutely unacceptable and ridiculous, and we're going to make sure that it doesn't continue to happen. I don't have much time left, and so I want to just kind of hit the high notes. I, I'm sure all of us could stand up here for you know, a couple hours each and talk through our community solutions action plans, but I will not bore you with, with, uh, with that. What I want to show you is that right off the bat, we are really, really trying to partner with the entire city, and we've got formal um, agreements with all five of our districts in the city. We're doing great work in those, in those schools already. We're, we're planned, but we're not getting stuck on our plan. We're also implementing at the same time. So we've got tutoring centers set up in 14 of our schools, um, then, but there's over 100 elementary schools in Sacramento. So we've got a lot of work to do. I think the, the way that we innovate the most in Sacramento is to be a convener. Um, and so I wanted to share with you really quick one example of how we're convening. We've gotten local businesses like Old Soul Coffee Company to come in and adopt a local school called Peter Burnett. And through a combination of money and also time, they are using their employees as volunteers to go do one-on-one -on -one reading tutoring in that local elementary school. We hooked them up with a great organization that is operating in Sacramento called Reading Partners, which is a nonprofit that specializes in this kind of reading tutoring. This is just one example of the public-private partnerships that we are trying to establish in Sacramento. We see ourselves as a convener, as a facilitator of this movement. Mayor Johnson said on Friday that he believes this is a movement in our country. I believe that very much as well. Our biggest job is to get everybody at the table and get everybody pushing in the same direction. I am excited to be here with 124 other communities doing this work. I'm humbled to be a part of this group, and I'm excited to be doing this work with you on into the future, because let's be real with each other. After this weekend ends and we're all done pumping ourselves up, we need to go back to our cities and our communities and get the real work done. Thank you. Thank you, Sacramento.